One of the things you're really known for in this industry is building high performing teams. And I wanted to touch on that a minute with you because I've seen the people who have worked with you have gone on to a number of C-suite roles afterwards. And it's, it's one of those things that if you want to level up, if you work with Joel Eisman, it's a real chance to level up because you're going to set the bar really high. And what you learn from having the chance to work with you can really serve you in the future of your career. So I'm curious how you approach building high-performing teams and what things are you looking for when you're adding people to your team? Yeah, so the first thing, and Land, you and I talked a little bit about this as we've worked together over time, which is I am always recruiting. I, am all, I always have a list of people that I know in the industry who I would like to hire or have on my team if I have an opportunity. And so, you know, when, when, uh, when I was at IHG and we were thinking about a person for the role on the, on the workout team, you were on my list, you know, and you were on my list, not because I had done some other things, but, but because you and I had worked together back where you were to host. And I was impressed uh, by what you did, how we worked together and all that type of thing. And so one of the things that I would say to people is if you're a manager, you always need to be recruiting. You always need to think about who it is that you would like to have on your team because there's going to come a point in time where you need to think about that. And of course, we all use headhunters and things like that, but we need to have ideas about who we're going to potentially be interested in hiring. The other thing I would say to people is you should recognize that you're always being interviewed. And that people are always looking at you as an individual. I mean, it was interesting. I told you the story as we were preparing for this about an individual who we added to our team at IHG. And when I sat down with her for the interview process, she asked me, well, what questions did I have of her? And I said to her, I don't have any questions. You interviewed with me two years ago when you were working on this project and we were working really close to, closely together. You did an awesome job. You did everything that we hoped you would accomplish in that role. And since that time, I was just waiting for the opportunity to add you to my team. So I think that's something for people to really think about is that you are always being interviewed and everything you do each and every day is going to reflect on the opportunity that you're going to have at some point in time. But the other thing I think is really important, Lynn, is that I've always looked at hiring people who actually thought were smarter than me. I mean, and people who maybe I could work for at some point in time. I mean, I've always wanted to add people who I thought could add a breadth that I didn't have, who had a skill set that I didn't have, that had experiences I didn't have. Uh, because in order to have a high performing team, you have to have people that aspire to grow take on more responsibility and want to have those bigger roles. And so uh, that's something that I've never shied away from is having really outstanding people on the team. And, you know, I'm really proud to have had the opportunity to have a lot of the people on the team go on to have great roles in the industry. Uh, and I think that's, that's really a key piece is that part of the recruiting effort. 